Now that we know how to compare our algorithms together, let's move on to the next one, which is one of the first papers that actually tried to use deep learning and convolutional neural networks to actually solve this problem, detect objects. It has multiple stages. You take as input an image, you extract region proposals from an external algorithm. You take those boxes, you warp the image inside that box, push it through your CNN. So here you're using your CNN as a feature extractor. You're turning images into vectors. And then in the end, you're gonna have a per class support vector machine. So you're gonna have, I don't know, 21 or 20 support vector machines telling you, is there an airplane in this box? Yes or no? Is there a person in this box? Yes or no? So this was an assignment for you to watch the video. Are there any questions about this paper? Is the warping just a reshape? The warping is just uh, a reshape of whatever that's inside this box. And why would you do the warping? Because at that time, this neural network is actually AlexNet. The input to that neural network had to be 224 by 224. So it's going to be a reshaping and at the same time, some interpolation going on. Any other questions? Or did I answer your question? Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Yeah, sure. So let's say this algorithm is trained, all of them. The support vector machine, uh, the CNN is already fine-tuned on the new data set. How do you actually use this algorithm in practice? You put an image. Your region proposal is going to propose regions to you. You take those regions, push them through your convolution multiple times because you have 2,000 regions. You warp them, push them through CNN 2,000 times. So these operations are going to be called 2,000 times during uh, testing and in production. Then you're going to call your support vector machine to tell you, is this an airplane? Yes or no? And how likely is that to be an airplane? And these are the scores that I was showing you for this box. How likely is it that this is a person? And then you're going to use the scores in addition to intersection over union to suppress in a greedy fashion many of these boxes out of 2,000. Maybe you need only five of them to report. And then you're going to use a post-processing step, which is greedy non-maximum suppression, which is based on intersection union and uh, the scores that are coming out of your support vector machine. And then to actually train this, you can go to the video. There is a lot of details there. And there is also another final stage. Once you have a box, you can actually adjust its coordinates relative to that box. So you have a proposal box. You have the ground truth box. You can compute the difference between the two. These are the targets that you want to hit. And then you're going to have some neural networks that are parameterized. It is basically a CNN up until the last convolutional layer or pool five layer. And then you're going to learn these parameters. So you're also doing some transfer learning here. You're learning a linear combination of the features that are coming out of your CNN to give you the adjustments to these boxes. So if there are no questions, I can move on.